Welcome to the Blueberry Classroom Storytime. Today we have a special story about Anzac Day. Hello everybody. Today our story is called Anzac Day in Our Street. Are you ready? It had been a while since Saba's father had been home and he was looking forward to seeing him again. Saba was becoming bored being at home all the time, but he could still play in the garden. Saba was lucky, his dad had told him. They had a pet dog called Ruff. Saba spent hours playing with Ruff, both inside the house and outside in the garden. When Saba's dad was little, he couldn't have a dog, he said. But now, because they lived in Australia, they were free to have any pets they wanted. Saba loved their dog. It was great to have a pet. Do you have a pet? You must be lucky too, if you do. Across the road from Saba lived his friend Jilly. She was always happy and she made Saba feel good too. Even now, although they needed to live in isolation to stop from catching any ugly germs, Jilly would jump up and down and wave to Saba when she saw him across the street in his garden. Saba was always glad to see Jilly and he would wave back to her. Saba's mother said that everyone was friendly in their street and they were lucky. It made them feel safe while Saba's father was away. If Saba stood on the steps of his house, he could just see Bob and Matilda, who lived across the road but further down the street. Saba would call out, Hi Bob and Matilda, to them, and they would yell back at him. Today they yelled out, We've been making red poppies. Saba thought that was odd. He had been making paper poppies with his mum that morning. She said they were to wear them on Anzac Day, tomorrow. When Saba noticed there was a lovely cooking smell in the air, he said, Wow, I love that smell of cooking. I wonder where it is coming from. Matilda called out, We've been making Anzac biscuits for tomorrow too. Tomorrow is Anzac Day, yelled Saba, feeling very proud of himself for knowing something that was important. The next morning, Saba's mum woke him up very early. They pinned on a poppy each to their tops and went out onto their driveway. Saba's mum pointed out that Jilly's house next door had a wreath of poppies on the door. Jilly was standing in her driveway too. Jilly's dad had put up an Australian flag on a pole in their front yard. At the front of Bob and Matilda's driveway, on the top of an old suitcase, there was a hat with a golden medal. That hat is called a slouchy, and they were worn by people from Australia who kept Australia safe and free a long time ago, said a smiling old man who was walking past their driveway. The old man was wearing medals on his jacket 
and he was slowly walking down the middle of the road. Just when Saba thought he had learned a lot about Anzac Day, some music started up. A lady three doors across, standing in her driveway, played a special tune on a bugle. When she had finished playing the tune, everyone put their heads down and nobody spoke or moved for a whole minute. Saba's mother had told him not to talk at this time. Then the lady played another much slower tune. the tune, the old man, who was now standing between the houses, still in the middle of the road, said in a big voice, They shall grow not old, as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them. All the adults standing outside then said, We will remember them. The old man walked back to his home, and everyone in the street cheered and clapped their hands. Before he went up his driveway, he smiled and waved. Then Bob and Matilda put a plate of biscuits in front of his house before their mother quickly put plates of biscuits in front of the driveways to all of their neighbours. Saba waited until she had gone before going down to the road to get his biscuits. He waved to Bob and Matilda and their mum and yelled, Thank you! He couldn't wait to eat an Anzac biscuit. Back inside, Saba's mother said there was a message on the computer from his dad. It had a photo of him in his army uniform, and the message read, I'm thinking of you today in Australia, as we all remember the soldiers from the past who have kept Australia safe and free. I hope I can continue to help keep us all safe by being kind to people when they need help, both in Australia and around the world. And Saba's mother smiled as she sent Saba's dad a love heart on her phone. On Anzac Day, we can remember all our soldiers, past and present. I hope you've enjoyed our Anzac Day story. We'll see you next time. Bye. We are special. We are free. Because we live in this country. We have food. We have clothes. A lucky country. Everyone 